What is up everyone, this is Moturles here, and today I want to show you how to fix the Windows error, fix entry point not found, the procedure entry point could not be located, the dynamic link library, it's like a weird big error that <laughs> may be coming up when you're trying to run like a certain software or program and your Windows is basically giving this error. So I want to give you, basically show you two possible fixes and what you can do to essentially fix this. So the first one is the most likely scenario is you actually do not have Visual C++ uh, on your computer. Uh, you can have the 2015 one, you can have the latest one as well as 2015 is usually the sufficient version you can have. You don't have to go to the latest one. So I will leave this link in the description below for y'all to basically check out. But you're going to press download and you're going to make sure you download the right one. Uh, the way you can do that is if you go to your file explorer, basically in your this PC, click properties and you can just essentially the screen will pop up and you can just basically see from here which one you need to download. So you can see mine 64. You just get the 64 version and you essentially just download that and install it. Once you install it, make sure to restart your Windows to ensure like it completely installs and the error goes away. Now, if for whatever reason, let's just say the error did not go away, what you're going to do for method number two is you're going to write CMD and you're going to right click into this and do run as administrator. We're essentially going to try to fix it or resolve it from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to write SFC slash scan now as you see over here, and we're going to press enter. And you're going to see it's going to say beginning system scan. This will take some time. This actually does take a very, very, very long time. So you're just going to have to like kind of let it run, let it scan. And then this same thing, once this is kind of done scanning, let it restart your computer and then you should be good to go. So basically those two methods should help fix this issue and y'all should be basically good, in a good spot and you shouldn't have this error anymore. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, or concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. If you guys overall uh, like this video, please smash that like button. Hope to you guys are new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, multi turtles out.